Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill. When we last left off, we were exploring the hospital. And to be honest, we don't have a huge amount of it left. So, let's get some uh, revenge on these bloody nurses. And then we can sit here and think about what we need. Right, so if we go into the intensive care unit, there's actually an item in here that we really need. And it is the disinfecting alcohol. We're going to be pocketing that. Harry doesn't know why he needs that, but we know why he needs that. Or at least I do. And I'm sure at least a good portion of you know why he needs that. This one's locked. This one, on the other hand, is not so locked. And we can find ourselves a nice, fat, juicy first aid kit. I don't think we've had to use one of those yet. But I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Now, with our fancy new key in hand, we can go down into the basement and plunder that for all it's worth. Every time that um, elevator door opens, I think that there's gonna be an enemy standing behind it. And I don't mean like that, I mean actually behind it. Okay. Right, that was good. I think there's another nurse up here that is. Right, if you could hit it, Harry, that would be the best case for everybody involved. Right, he's gone. Or she's gone, I should say. Now, if we go into the generator room, we can grab the hammer. Now that, there it is, I'm standing in front of it. I was like, wait a minute, where's the bloody hammer? No, we got it. Now the hammer is actually um, a legitimately decent weapon. Uh, and you can actually dispatch these nurses quite easily with it. But it is slow. And from what I can understand, you can't actually move whilst you've got it equipped. If I remember correctly anyway. So there's the basement store key. Let's check all of these rooms whilst we're here. To make sure we're not missing nothing. Because you know what I'm like. I don't like to miss nothing. Okay. Oh, that's actually convenient. Uh oh, that's not quite as convenient. Excuse me, love. Now, it's worth knowing that when those nurses actually grab you like that, to the best of my knowledge, they don't hurt you. So... Wow, we've actually got a decent amount of ammo left. In all fairness, let's switch up to that. Let's see if we can't bonker on the head. Yeah, this does crazy amounts of damage. But yeah, as I thought, you can't actually move whilst wielding it. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, we're not interested in the body, Harry. We're interested in the health drink right in front of us. Alright. Oh, yeah. And the ampule. I almost forgot about that. So that is definitely worth it. So the ampules are a full heal. Which makes them um, pretty incredible, to be honest. But then, I don't know, this game's kind of weird when it comes to its health items. Because there's so many of them. Now, from what I can understand, on the harder difficulties... There's obviously less items, but it's not that much less. All right, so what have we got in the storeroom? We have some handgun bullets, which is nice because we've massively depleted our supply. Some shotgun shells, which is nice because we're stocking up. And sadly, that's it. But wait, if we examine this, nothing inside, but... There are some scratch marks. So let's give it a good old shove out of the way. 
and that reveals a secret door. Now, unfortunately, there's Soddle in here apart from. Looks like a hallway under the grate. Can't move it since the vines have grown around it. Well, that's unfortunate. Time to pack up and go home, I suppose. Unless you were smart and you grabbed up some disinfecting alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol bottle found in the ICU at the hospital. Well, let's be quite liberal with this stuff. When in doubt, burn it out. You pour disinfecting alcohol on the vines. Gee, if only we had a lighter to spark this stuff up. Oh, wait. Well, this is going to be pretty reactive. Good thing there was just the item we needed for just the task at hand. Gotta love these video game logic situations. Now, let's go into the hidden basement. Yep, so we basically took her out in one blow, or one cycle of attacks, I should say. You can't do this with the pipe. This is actually a viable weapon to use. One more, because it does knock them back quite a decent amount. As soon as they start charging, you kind of get them into like a stun lock situation as well, which is nice. Just quit your whining, bitch. Now, unfortunately, we can't go through there. There's nothing on that either. We don't have a map for this section either, which could be problematic. Now, this might be a situation where this weapon fails us a little bit. Or maybe not. Okay. I th thought that would go quite poorly. But no. This weapon is really saving us some bullets. Come on, stamp the bitch out. No, she's dead. But we have a videotape. Ha. Huh. Well, if we remember, there is actually a VCR in one of the rooms above, on the third floor, I believe. So, we can check that out. Ooh. Somebody else smashing vials, I guess. Oh, we're going to pay that no heed for now. Locked and locked. What's this? Looks like someone's been here. Alessa. Well, she looks familiar. Alessa looks an awful lot like our Sherry. Hmm. Well, there's the examination room key. I'm sure that's going to come in handy. So, there's a girl called Alessa that was in this hospital. Hmm. I wonder if that means something. Anyway, we're done here now. We did check that door, we did. So, everything we need at hand, let's head back upstairs back into familiar territory and I suppose we can go upstairs and check out what's on that videotape I'm sure it's going to be massively important and Harry for one hasn't sat down and watched a film for a while so he's got the taste for it if you understand let's head up to the elevator and I'm pretty sure we want to be going to the third floor. Yep, third floor and all the way round. Gotcha. We can go watch our videotape. 
exciting times. Reminds me of good old block blockbuster video. Although I shouldn't really say that because although blockbuster video was everywhere and a big name, uh, I don't think I ever actually rented anything from blockbuster. I had my own local um, rental shop called Stop and Shop where I rented this and many, many, many other games over the years. Sadly, it's no longer there anymore, but, you know, the writing was on the wall for those type of places. Anywho, let's uh, grab our video cassette, which says, Nothing on the label. Found on the second floor hospital basement. Hmm, curious. Let's give it a watch. Hmm, so I don't know if you got any of that, but I heard something about a fever. Something about her skin is all burnt. And then we won't tell a soul. That voice as well almost sounded familiar. But it's a character that we haven't met yet. So I'm not going to say too much. Anywho, we now have, uh, where was the examination room? Uh, floor number one, so we need to go, okay. Floor numero uno. And we are almost done with this place. Right. So let's start exploring. So we need to go all the way around into the medicine room and out. Into the medicine room. And here we can use our key. Let's see what's going on on the other side of this door. Hmm, a friendly nurse. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. Ah, that's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? 
were under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Hmm. Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Uh -huh. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. Another church? This is beyond my ability. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Battery low. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Mark of Samael. Curious. Well, let's go take the key to the antique shop. And let's start getting out of here. So we met Lisa. Lisa was a curious character, so she's conveniently been asleep all this time. Alright, we'll buy it for now. I think it's also worth noting that she sounded awfully familiar, didn't she? Almost as if it was her on the tape, swearing secrecy. Hmm. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to get out of here, and we need to make haste all the way back into Silent Hill. Hmm. Well, it doesn't sound too good out here, that's for sure. But at least it's not looking apocalyptic. Let's make our way to the uh, antique shop, which is all the way to the north. I guess it doesn't really matter how we get there, as long as we get there. Oof. There's certainly some ominous sounds going on anyway. The atmosphere of this game is wonderful absolutely wonderful it really is you know they did so much with so little and I think even now just replaying it again um, it is my favorite Silent Hill game that I've played to date it really is okay so almost there let's have a little peek that's curious. I thought there were some enemies around here. And man, that's so eerie. Hmm. We've got a key. Oh. Ah, that's why we used the key. I was going to say, but the door was open. Right. So we've got another save room in here. So we'll take advantage of that. And it's very dark. So, what's going on in here? We've got a clock. There's a clock. Nothing special. Alright, I'll take your word for it. Now, none of this stuff is any use. Is that so? However, if we examine this... 
it looks like there is another um, wardrobe here that can be moved. There is a trace on the floor that somebody moved the cabinet. Do you want to push it? Well, seems like a reasonable thing to do. It is our only lead at the moment. What's this? Harry. Hey, there's a Sybil. Face for sore eyes. I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. <laughs> Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <coughs> They sell them to the tourists. <laughs> the poor still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. Selling drugs, eh? And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. Oh, I don't think so. That's all I can think of. Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No, I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. 
So it looks like it's just us that transitions to the other world. Okay. Let's take a wander down here and see what we find. What's this? Some kind of altar. I've never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Well, maybe, but not much of a church. Still, if we grab this, get another axe. Take it. Yes, let's take the axe. So, another weapon. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. Hmm. Is that the, uh, hallucinogenic that the locals have been selling how curious let's also read the stats or the blurb on the axe that we've just picked up small one hand axe moderately effective as a weapon emergency hammer highly damaging but hard to use yep very powerful but you can't move three foot long steel pipe long range but of limited use yeah, it just it it's not powerful enough really. Hard to use but better than nothing. Yeah, I wouldn't even bother myself to be honest. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, the lock is jammed, so let's go back the other way. What the Oh, uh, that's that's not good. I mean I've heard of burning bushes, but this is something else entirely. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa. Do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Mm. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Queer religion? Huh. Cult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. Hmm. As many people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in, and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Hmm. 
cults, curses. Was that another dream? Interesting. Did I pass out again? So Lisa looks like she's stuck in the alternative version of Silent Hill. Maybe this is all just going on in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Oh, if you were so lucky, Harry. Sybil and Shelley at but the road to the lakes. Yeah, this is going by too quickly for me to read. Lisa would probably know. Yeah, that goes by pretty quick. Not sure why the game auto-scrolls that. Anyway, guys, here we are again in the alternate version of Silent Hill after a brief chat with Lisa. Lisa seems to know quite a bit of what's going on. Sybil, not so much, but Sybil seems to be very much stuck in the real plane of existence, uh, which is why she saw Harry just vanish. How curious. Are we in the land of the dead? Is it something... A little bit more? Maybe. We'll find out. But that's going to have to wait for next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till then.